Okay, let's talk about the HLT and VLT, and these are specific math tests. And this one here is called the horizontal line test, and the VLT is called the vertical line test. And again, they are certain tests, and what are we testing? Well, uh, we're gonna test to uh, determine if something is a function, okay? And then uh, there are some functions that are these type of uh, functions, and uh, that's where the VL or uh, the HLT, excuse me, is going to come into play. So these are func This is the inverse function. Okay, so this is a function, and this is a function inverse. So if you are taking algebra, you definitely need to know this stuff, right? Very, very important stuff. We're just going to do a quick overview of uh, of these tests and how they fit into your study of functions. Okay, I have tons of videos on functions. It's a huge topic in algebra. So. You know, I'm gonna um, kind of guide you towards other more detailed videos, but we're gonna just focus on the main use of these tests, the HLT and the VLT. And I'm gonna get into this in just one second, but first let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tabla Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm gonna leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But Basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra to pre-calculus and everything in between. So uh, if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level in terms of mathematics, I can help you excel in your math course. If you're uh, planning on taking any exam that has math on it, for example, uh, the GED, SAT, ACT, ASVAB, ACCUPLACE, or CLEP exam, uh, teacher certification exam, GRE, GMAT, I don't know if I said those already, uh, EOC, and the course exam, maybe a nursing school entrance exam, you get the idea. There's a ton of all kinds of exams out there. They all have math on them. I can help you prepare and pass those tests. If you homeschool, I have a great homeschool math curriculum and program. Now, if you don't have any math notes, don't sweat it. I will go ahead and let you use my math notes. Anyways, I'm going to leave uh, links to my math notes in the description of this video. But uh, anyways, I was kind of spoke there. I said, don't sweat your math notes. Well, listen, uh, you have to take great, great math notes to be successful in mathematics. So start turning your notes around. So just start taking notes in general. I've been teaching math for decades. This is one of the things that students just, uh, they underestimate. Almost all students underestimate the importance of taking great math notes, right? This is critical to your math success. Okay. Now, uh, let's see here. Uh, so I got a question for you. Okay. Which test do we use, okay, to determine if uh, something is a, uh, represents a function, okay? Is it the HLT or VLT? Okay, now go ahead and put that into the comment section. And while you're at it, if you know what the HLT is for, put that in there as well, all right? So let's just kind of see what you come up with, but let's get right to it. All right, so we're talking about this big, big, um, uh, topic of functions in uh, mathematics, right? This is a huge, huge topic, but let's go ahead and kind of look at this uh, this way. Okay, we're, we're kind of looking at uh, functions graphically. So here's a little xy plane. Now let's start with something even bigger than functions. Let's talk about this family of something called relations, okay? So in mathematics, we have this big, big uh, thing called relations. And relations are simply just collections of XY points, sets of XY points. So uh, if you have a point right here, okay, so let's call this uh, 2, 4, okay, and maybe I have this other point over here. We'll call this one uh, 5, uh, 1, okay. So if I have a set, a collection of points, okay, ordered pairs rather, yeah, points, x, y points remain the same thing. This would be a particular, uh, we would describe that as a relation in uh, mathematics. Okay, so uh, relations are simply a collection of x, y points or sets of ordered pairs, right? So that's what it is. Now, some relations, some relations are functions. Okay, so some relations are functions, and that's what we want to determine. Okay, but we want to determine whether a uh, relation, okay, is a function. Okay, that's, we're gonna make sure say that again. We wanna determine whether a relation is a function. Right? That's the whole idea here, because if something is a function, it has very unique properties. And if you just think about uh, all the things you study in mathematics or will study, uh, you're studying what type of things? Well, you're studying uh, linear functions, all right? We're using this word very specifically. It has meanings, okay? 
where we're talking about quadratic functions. All right, that's another uh, word. Or, uh, rational functions, okay, exponential functions, logarithmic functions, on and on and on and on. We're using this word very specifically. It has very specific meanings to it, okay? So again, not everything uh, that is a function, all right, and not all relations um, are functions. That's the main idea here. So we need to test this, and we could test this graphically, right? Now here is how this works. So we're going to talk about our first test, and that is the VLT. So let's take uh, an example of something here. And this is a parabola. This is a parabola. This is an example of a quadratic uh, function. Okay, so when you graph a quadratic equation, uh, it looks like a parabola. Now, Again, we're talking about quadratic functions, so we know it's a function, but why or how can we determine that? Well, there's a lot of different ways we can determine that, but graphically speaking, we can use the VLT, okay? So we're going we're gonna to use the VLT. That's the vertical line test, and here is how it works. If I draw a vertical line anywhere through this graph, and these aren't perfect vertical lines, obviously, but you can kind of get the idea. So here, if I, if I just drew a vertical line anywhere along this graph, uh, where does this, how many times does this vertical line right here cross this uh, graph? It just crosses once, okay? How about right here? Just one time, just one time, just one time. So if a vertical line, uh, if you draw a vertical line anywhere along the graph of something and it only crosses one time, it passes the vertical line test, meaning or indicating that that graph represents a function. Now clearly right here, okay, on this graph is a bunch of x, y points. So you're saying, what about a relation? Well, on here, I could just write out all these little x, y points that would be on here. So this is, this does represent a relation, okay? But it's, uh, we can be further have a function, okay? So I know it's kind of, let me go ahead and just erase all this stuff here. Uh, so let's do another example so you can get the idea. So let's take a look at another type of, let's say, polynomial function. Let's say I had something like this. Well, that's a little, let me just be a little bit better with that. Uh, something like that, okay? So let's say this is uh, some sort of polynomial function, okay? another type of function that you will study in algebra. So let's just draw a little vertical line. I know I'm just kind of going quickly here, but uh, here's a little vertical lines. Again, only crossing through this uh uh, graph one time, indicating that this uh, gr uh, graph right here, okay, is passing the vertical line test, so this graph represents a function. Now, what a function is, why it's important that we know if something is a function, that's a whole nother topic. Uh, I'm going to refer you to, uh, I have a ton of videos uh, in my um, algebra playlist and Algebra 2 playlist on my YouTube channel. But if you really want to learn this stuff, you might want to think about taking my Algebra or Algebra 2 math courses. Okay, really thoroughly get into this. But this is stuff that you absolutely need to understand. All right, so that is the vertical line test, vertical line test. Now, uh, let's move on to uh, the horizontal line test. Okay, so let's go back to our parabola here. Okay, so here is our lovely parabola, and uh, let's just uh, recall that this parabola passes, okay, the vertical line test, or the, sorry, this graph of this parabola, okay, this is a parabola, this graph, okay, passes a vertical line test, meaning that it's a function, it's a quadratic function, all right, I really want to be specific with these terms. So, okay, very good, this is a function. Now, let's apply this um, new test or this other test, the HLT, okay, horizontal line test. What's this about? Well, let's just draw a horizontal line now through this uh, graph, okay? Now, what's going on here? Well, this is crossing more than once. This is, this is crossing two times, okay? So what do you think this uh, indicates, all right? Well, this indicates that it, this has failed the horizontal uh, horizontal line test. But what does that mean? Well, it means that this graph right here, or this function, this function is not is not a what we call a one-to-one -one function. It's not a one-to-one -one function. So a lot of you are like, oh, who cares? It's not a one-to-one -one function. It doesn't make a difference to me. Well, it does. Okay. Uh, uh, if it's not a one-to-one -one function. Uh, we cannot find the in, an inverse function, okay? So when we have functions, we like to try to find inverse functions. That's, that's this notation right here, 
Look at that little negative one up there, that uh, superscript. Here, let me just draw a little bit better. I'll come back to this relations thing. So here is a function. We determine if something's a function by the, the vertical line test. Now, to determine whether this function has an inverse, okay, we have to now use this test, the horizontal line test, okay? This is the test to determine whether this function has an inverse. Now, what's the importance of an inverse function? Well, that's a whole other uh, topic in and of itself, but these are things that you're gonna have to know in algebra. So these graphical tests are awesome, all right? So here, pretty uh, clearly, this fails the horizontal uh, line test. So this parabola, like, although it's a function, it's not a one-to-one -one function, so therefore it does not have an inverse, okay? All right, let's go back to, actually, let me uh, erase this. Let's take a look at some examples where um, we do have a function and a, it's a one-to-one -one function, okay? So the easiest example, okay, would be like a linear equation. So here's a line. We're all familiar with it. So it passes the vertical line test and it passes a horizontal line test. So any equation, any like y equals mx plus b type of equation, you can express as a function, a linear function, and find its inverse, all right? It's pretty straightforward stuff. All right, let's take a look at another one. How about something like this? Well, that's a terrible one. Uh, this right here, okay? What type of function is this? It starts with an e. Okay, how many how many of you out there can tell me that? Put that in the comment section if you know this. Well, this would be an example of an exponential function, something like this, f of x is equal to 2 to the x power, something like that, okay? So this is an exponential function because the variable is an exponent. So is it a function? Yes, it is. It passes a vertical line test, and notice it also passes the horizontal line test as well. Okay, so exponential functions is an example of another type of function that passes both uh, the um, it passes the HLT, indicating that there is in fact an inverse function, and in fact the inverse function here would be some sort of logarithmic function. Okay, so when you're dealing with exponential functions, the inverse function is a logarithm. Okay, a logarithmic function, logarithmic function, and uh, vice versa. Uh, for logarithmic functions, its exponent or its inverse function is exponential function. So again, this all ties in together, okay? It's not just little trivial little things that we need to know, but um, the VLT and the HLT are awesome. Let's go ahead and sum this up here. Actually, I was going to use that graph, but uh, let's just go ahead and just wrap this up. Okay, so in the big, big world of mathematics, okay, we have relations, right? So again, these are sets or collections of x, y points, okay? Now, some relations, some, okay, relations, this is all relations right here. Some relations are functions, okay? Some relations are functions, and some functions okay, or one-to-one -one functions. Some functions have inverses, okay, or one-to-one. -one. So this is the big picture. Uh, you kind of uh, want to remember that. And let's even kind of take this a step further. So to determine whether a relation is a function, that is going to be that, whoops, not the horizontal line test, had this backwards, uh, the vertical line test, right? Vertical line test. And to determine where the, uh, this function is one-to-one, -one, that is going to be the horizontal line test. Graphical test, uh, there's other ways to uh, kind of study this and determine this stuff, but, uh, you know, these nice little easy, um, you know, tests, graphical tests are awesome. So, anyways, hopefully now you've got a real strong understanding of the HLT and VLT, absolutely uh, something critical uh, that you need to know about in algebra. You need to know about these two tests, especially the, uh, the VLT. I would suspect most of you probably uh, learned the VLT, but a lot of you probably forgot about the HLT, okay? But both are important. All right, so if this little video helped you out in some small ways, please go ahead and consider smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out in a huge way. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos, basic to advanced uh, mathematics. So 
My goal is to try to teach math in a clear and understandable way. So if you like my teaching style, please take advantage of all the content that I've made. And it's all over the place. I have basic stuff. Uh, I have uh, algebra, geometry, uh, I have pre-calculus. I have actual calculus. So I try to spread it around. Uh, but my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.